Chad, Chad, please, I need to make a server on Pocket Edition. Okay, fine, we'll make a video on that. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. We've done a video on how to make a server for Java Minecraft. We've done a video on how to make a server for modded Minecraft. Well, you guys have been asking, how do you make a Pocket Edition server? And I have two tools one very easy and one pretty easy on how to make a Pocket Edition server. So let's jump in. So here we are, and this is the Windows 10 edition, but it, it works exactly the same on Windows 10, Pocket, and uh, the iOS and Android editions. So what you're going to want to do is first go ahead and click play. And if you already have a world selected or a world created that you want to select to be your server, you can just choose that or create new, generate random. And in the settings, which you can get to from clicking this edit icon right here, go to multiplayer. And there you have, this will create a multiplayer game, which will basically create a server for you. If you're logged into Xbox, you'll have this op option to broadcast to Xbox Live, which you can choose to or not. And then also the broadcast to LAN option. And for most players, this is going to be the simplest way to do things, because if you're on the same Wi-Fi, it makes stuff so much simpler. Uh, if not, then go ahead, uh, choose these and click play and the server will be running while the game is running. And here we are. Doesn't seem like much is happening, but it's all happening in the background. Well, let's say someone else wants to connect. What will they have to do? So here are the steps. While that other server is still running, uh, you'll have to go into your friends. And if you see a friend online, you can join. Uh, if they are on the LAN uh, or on your same Wi-Fi network, you should see their game show up right here. But if neither of those are true, you're going to have to get your friend's IP address, which they can do by Googling my IP and then it will show up. And they do have to port forward a little bit of stuff. But if they have done that correctly, and by the way, that is such a complicated topic that you're going to have to search for that on your own. But if they've done that correctly, then you can just type in their IP address and it will work. Uh, IP addresses uh, tend to look something similar to that. It's uh, a few letters uh, with dots in between them and uh, it could be three or two characters and you can name this whatever you want. Hit save here. We'll just do uh, some dummy IP. There we go. And well, I'm and hit uh, we'll name this OMG craft. There we go and hit save. Now, uh, I think I hit play at first. Why doesn't this like this? Anyway, it's probably some uh, IP address that doesn't work. Uh, it'll show up here and it will ping the server to see if it is working. Now, some people will not find this very useful. What they'll want to do is set up a server just like we do on the PC, which uses a uh, an actual command line interface. And I have found an option for people who want to do that. And it is called pocket mine. And this is what it looks like up close. Don't be scared. Although it is command line, uh, it is very, very user friendly. You can see English is EN. All we have to do is type in EN and hit enter. And it's going to ask us a few more questions. You will have to download this and uh, place it into uh, some folder and, and actually install it. But once it's installed, it looks like this. Do we want to skip the setup wizard? Now you can see that one of these is capitalized. Uh, that's the default answer. And no, I don't want to skip the, uh, the wizard. So I can just hit enter and it will move on. Now it's going to ask me for the name of my Minecraft server. We're going to call this one OMG craft and hit enter. Then it's going to say, is this server port? Okay. That's the default port. Yes, it is. We could either type out that port or just hit enter to keep it. It's going to ask for the amount of RAM that we want to use. And uh, the default is uh, 256. Let's go crazy. Let's do uh, half a gigabyte, 512. You can choose creative or survival. You can see that in default, it's uh, survival. But let's go ahead and do creative. So let's hit one. Uh, it's max players. We could do 200, 1,000. No, let's uh, keep it down to 20. Let's just do default. So we'll hit enter. Uh, this is asking about spawn protection, which means that people who are not opt will not be able to break things around the spawn. 
Do we want to enable it? No is my answer. By default, it's yes, but I'm going to say no. It's going to ask if we want to opt players. I'm going to type in my name, OMG Chad. Do uh, you want to do a whitelist or have it open to everyone? We're going to hit no, a no whitelist. It's quick and easy to do. Uh, now, what this is asking is a query is tool is a tool so that other that when you're on your client, it will ping the server to see if it is up. And we want to keep this on, so we're going to choose no. That'll show up. That'll wait. It'll like show up on a on a game that the server's online and running. Uh, Archon is a tool so that you could remotely connect. We don't need to worry about this. We're going to do no and it will grab our external IP address. So it's just telling us what our external IP address is, uh, letting us know that other people would have to join uh, by adding that in. And it is finished and running. So now the server is up and running, which is pretty amazing that we are running a Pocket Edition server in the command line. Uh, we can do normal things like uh, say, Hello world, and the server, <laughs> I spelled world a little weird, uh, capitalization a little weird. Uh, you can also opt players uh, if you want. There we go, we've opt OMG Chad, and do a few server commands. I think we could ban players here, ban OMG Chad. Uh-oh, oh gosh, oh no. I don't think it's unban, I think it's, uh, let's see if this works. No, I think it's purge, or there's a weird word for it. It's um, uh, pardon. There you go. I've been pardoned. Oh, thank God. Uh, so you can do a few nice uh, server commands from this. The other really nice thing is that it is always running. It's much easier to keep this running in the background of a computer versus keeping your world and your player online at all times. Uh, and, st and this is much nicer. The other thing that uh, this would allow you to do is run multiple worlds and do a whole bunch of other stuff. This is pocket mine, and I have found it very useful. Whenever you want to stop the server, all you have to do is stop and hit enter. So a few more things to remember is you still have to do that dreaded port forwarding on uh, both of these. And I still have not done a video about port forwarding on OMG Craft because literally everyone's setup is different. I am not joking. If you want to learn how to port forward, I would suggest Google as your friend. As many times you will have to Google the specific model number of the router and or modem that you are using in order to port forward. So that I am leaving up to you to do. An extracurricular activity, if you will. Also, don't forget that if you are running the Pocket Edition server from the actual Pocket Edition, as in you're in the game, remember you do have to stay in the game. If you go and leave the game, the server's gonna shut down and no one else can join. So keep that in mind. You may have to create an AFK box or something of that nature to keep yourself safe while you are extended periods of time while you're away from your keyboard. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Make sure you share it. Make sure you comment down below. And of course, the most important, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you next time. Bye.